Library debuts Drag Queen Storytime, Houston, Texas. Look how young these children are. The Heights Public Library today debuting a new children's story hour called Drag Queen Storytime. Stephanie Whitfield sat in on the program designed to promote acceptance. Good morning, everybody. The Heights Library had a special guest for story time. Oh my goodness, everyone is dressed so nice. I wish I would have wore a nice costume for y'all. A visitor who usually performs for an older audience. Right. My name is Blackberry. I'm a bearded drag queen. That means I'm a lady with lots of facial hair. Do you want to touch my hair? No. This program is geared towards kids 10 years old and younger. I just want to expose them to things they don't get to see every day and want it to become the more normal and more accepted. They've never seen a drag queen before, so I thought it was a good chance to see one. But let's turn around and shake your butt. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them. It was a first for this branch of the public library, too. It is amazingly unique, and that is ultimately something that we strive for, for sure. Um, we definitely, at this particular branch, but also at Houston Public Library, always want to promote diversity, uh, understanding, inclusion, and fun. Let me hear my cats. Of course, a love of books, too. Blackberry says reading is a way to break the stigma of drag in queer culture. That's the whole goal is to uh, make kids that aren't used to seeing something like me uh, more comfortable to seeing it. So once they go into school later on in life and they see something that's totally different from them, instead of bullying, they're more accepting. One, two, three. Stinky cheese. Now, there were definitely some kids who had to warm up to Blackberry, but that's the whole reason some parents went, to expose their children to something that they've never seen before. And most people seem to walk away having a good time. Yeah, start them young, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, start them awesome. young. Start them young. Expose them to things that they have not seen before. Why don't you expose them to a, a triple X movie? They've never seen that before. Expose them to, um, how about... A bar, go into a bar, uh, expose them to a strip club. They've never seen that before. What the hell is wrong with this country, man? Well, guess what? Guess what? The drag queen story hour all over our country. But before I, before I get into that, uh, what is this? Uh, Houston Public Library admits registered child sex offender read to kids in Drag Queen Story Hour. A registered child sex offender has been reading to children at the Houston Public Library as part of the Drag Queen Story Time. A group called Mass Resistance which has been trying to put an end to the program, they were the ones that found out. They had to do digging because they had been asking the city of Houston for months to disclose information about the drag queens, and when requests were unanswered, they did their own digging and found out that Tatiana Malanina, uh, the real name Alberto Garza, a 32-year-old was included in that drag queen story time, and in 2008, he was convicted of child sexual assault on an eight-year-old boy. So you have these lar libraries. It is so unbelievably inappropriate for young children to be exposed to this because we all know drag queens, there is a sexual um, element to drag queens. You, you go, my God, go on YouTube, Tatiana Malanina, and I mean, it's all sexualized. The shows, that's known. So what the hell are parents bringing their they're very, very young, innocent children to these shows. I, I Look, something's very wrong in our country with the American people. Tatiana Malanina.
convicted of child sexual assault. And the Houston Public Library, well, yeah, this is what they said. They admit they did not do a background check on Garza. Well, how many others did they, well, just let in to the library, not completing the background check? Parents, man, you, uh, whoa, I don't know what to say. If parents don't know that this is wrong, then, well, I don't, this is what Houston Public Library said. In our review of our process and of this participant, we discovered that we failed a complete, to complete, a background check as required by our guidelines. We deeply regret this oversight and the concern this may cause our customers. We realize this is a serious matter. Yeah, it's quite a serious matter. If they had done their job and due diligence, if they had said, wait, maybe it's not a good idea to have a sex offender who's 200 pounds and 5 foot 11 assault, who assaulted a 8-year-old boy, this is so unbelievably outrageous. Yeah, drag queen story time. It's a national program that aims to promote love and acceptance. Boy, we've hit the moral low, low point. Let's just say we don't have any morals. I think this guy is Tatiana. We are in trouble. South Salem, New York. Indianapolis, Indianapolis, Iowa City, Iowa. Look at these. This this is what you're exposing your kids to. Okay. Look, you want to dress up as a woman and go off and do your thing? Fine. But you don't expose children to this, and I've said this in many of these videos that I posted on this drag queen story time. Parents, you are exposing your children to these drag queens. We've got the internet, and kids, well, wow, drag queens, I want to check out more of them. They go to YouTube, and what do they find? They find these drag queens who are performing at nightclubs for adults in bars for adults and their performances well hard to find one that's not sexualized that's what you're exposing your children to Iowa City Iowa Indianapolis Palm Springs California Milwaukee Burlington, Vermont. Do we really need this? Do we really need this? No, we don't. Rahway, New Jersey. Indianapolis. And yes, I, I can imagine that these children, when exposed to this, get very scared and confused. Milwaukee. Palm Springs, California, Rahway, New Jersey, Indianapolis, Jesus, oh, that's a good one. 